New tonight, giving workers superhuman strength to protect them on the job. A group of researchers in the Valley is betting on their wearable robotics to prevent workplace injuries. Cameron Pollum shows us how. We're inside Wear Tech Labs Thursday, getting an up-close look at how researchers with GoX and ASU have their sights and tech set on preventing workplace injuries. Battery compartments over here, the wiring comes around the back. Features of a lightweight system providing a taste of superhuman strength thanks to wearable robotics with the hope of taking human capability to a new level. Within our own community, we've got, you know, agriculture workers, mining workers, warehouse workers with a lot of injuries. Joe Hitt is part of a team who tested the device on Air Force porters, workers tasked with loading thousands of pounds of cargo on C-17s. The number one injury is back strain. And so we knew that that's where we wanted to focus first. That's where this exoskeleton comes into place. Small motors and batteries providing a boost of power to the lower body when lifting and pushing. It detects that you're, you're trying to lift up and it's going to push on the thighs. These motors are going to spin, it's going to push on the thighs and deliver that 30-40% more than you're capable of doing. Of course, I had to try it for myself. First lifting an awkward sized bin filled with 45 pounds, the system immediately firing oh. as soon as I began my lift. 40, 50 pounds. So we upped the ante, adding another 55 pounds. Once again, picking it up over and over with surprising ease. Even more noticeable was the lack of fatigue in my lower back afterwards. The team, along with funding from the state, is now looking to partner with local businesses, providing them a newly built, more cost-effective version of the suit for free to test on their workers over a two-week period. Same 20 people doing the same task with the exoskeleton and then without the exoskeleton, and then we'll look at the differences. They're confident employers and workers will rave over those differences, ones we certainly noticed ourselves. I'm Cameron Polum, ABC 15, Arizona.